Well, it's a story that's being believed. More and more women are turning to escorts to get what they want. The idea of picking up a guy in a bar or risking their safety on dating apps is no longer appealing. Women are giving themselves permission to prioritise pleasure without commitment and they're happy to pay for it. Anna Grossman is the uh, founder of Melbourne's elite male escort agency, her confidant, aiming to remove the shame and stigma surrounding the industry. She says she has a roster of quality companions who are primed and ready for intimate dates, respectful conversation and sensual experiences. To tell us more, here's Anna. Hi, Anna. Sorry, I tried not to sound creepy when I was reading it, but I think I did by mistake. Uh, how does a happily married suburban mum of two get into the escort business? Good morning, Larry and Kylie. Thank you so much for having me. Um, I speak to a lot of women. I have my whole life, and they tell me what they want. So um, they've told me that they're looking for a, you know, a, a quality um, gentleman where they can meet and be intimate, but without the commitment. And that's been really difficult for them. And I had a lot of single and divorced friends, and that's where sort of the idea came from. And are you seeing demand growing? Absolutely. Uh, so my first agency I ran back in 2012 to 2018, and we were really busy and um, we had thousands of clients and now uh, this is my second one that I'm doing on my own and I uh, launched this year and women are really embracing and really sort of accepting what I'm offering them. Okay, so what are women looking for? Like what do they want and why? So they're looking for safety. Safety is number one. Yeah. They want discretion in a, in a safe, non-judgmental space with a really gorgeous gentleman, not only physically, but also, you know, who's got a good heart, who really cares, who's genuine and compassionate and, you know, has chivalry, all those really important values that we... We should, all men should have. Right. Uh, her confidant is described as an elite male escort agency. So how do you decide which companions end up on your books? Uh, what, what's the criteria? So they usually email me or they give me a phone call and I can tell by the way they um, email, the, way, the wording, you know, if it's only a three-word email, then I know there's not really much more than that. I'm looking for a man with substance, someone who really understands women and who really just loves every aspect of a woman and just wants to please and pleasure and have fun with it all. You know, it's all about having fun okay. and not taking things too seriously. Yeah, but it is a job for them, for the male escorts, so they, well, they, they get paid? Uh, yeah, they do, but they all work in full-time jobs. They all come from very professional industries and this is something they do part-time. On the, on the side, so to speak. What's, yeah. the, what's the cost? Well, that's optional. Yes. What's um, the cost? Well, we've got different packages. We start from $500 an hour and upwards. So it depends on what the client needs and requires and, and every client, cl uh, client is different. Yeah, because yeah. it'd be like uh, hourly or two hours or there'd be... Um, it's per hour, but right. usually with the boyfriend experience, a minimum of two hours, as we've fa I've found that in the past, one hour is just not enough. Two hours, you know, yeah, to okay. sit down, have a chat, mm. and then move into whatever they need but to do. But you move offer into. flexible packages, that's what we're getting, yeah? <laughs> yes, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Why is it so important to shift the negative stigma attached to hiring an escort? Well, I still can't believe that in 2024 we still have a negative stigma when, when it comes to women using these type of services. It's absolutely hypocritical just hypocrisy and ridiculous and women want to do things on their own terms they're financially independent they you know should be able to make their own choices in life and we're not living in the dark ages yeah. men have had these options for thousands of years why can't women have the same kind of choices yeah. but a really quality beautiful service okay and you see, the, you see it reflected in movies and then that ends up playing out in real life as well uh, fascinating ch a chat thank you so much for talking to us Thank you so much for having me. Thank, Thank you. you.